In this video, we'll look at the 6 best Fidelity index funds to invest in, ranging from completely free index funds to some of the best performing on the market. Before we go any further, please remember to like the video and subscribe to our channel. The Fidelity Total International Index Fund is ranked 6th. This fund invests in stocks from the MSCI All Country World Index, which seeks to provide investment results that correspond to the total return of foreign developed and emerging markets. So in other words, this fund only invests in companies that are not based in the US. This is especially useful if you're looking to diversify your portfolio with international investments. This Fidelity fund currently has approximately 4,825 stocks in its portfolio, with top holdings including Nestle, Alibaba, Samsung, and Toyota. The average return since the fund's inception in 2016 has been around 8.89%, which means that $100,000 invested in 2016 would be worth slightly more than $16,000 today. Now, it's worth noting that while 8.89% is very good in this case, compared to some of the other funds in this list, it's a pretty modest return. The goal, however, is not to achieve the highest market returns with this specific index fund. That's what some of these other index funds will be used for. With an expense ratio of 0.06, this index fund is very inexpensive. On a $100,000 investment, you only have to pay $6 per year. That said, because this index fund only invests in foreign markets, it can fall in response to almost anything, from economic developments to political issues. Of course, this can also happen to stocks in the US, but foreign markets especially, particularly emerging markets with less stable economies, are much more volatile than the stock market. However, this doesn't mean that investing in international stocks is a bad idea. It's definitely a good idea, especially if you're investing for the long term and want to give your portfolio a boost. The Fidelity Zero Total Market Index Fund is ranked 5th. FZROX invests in stocks that are part of the Total Investable Market Index, which is an index that attempts to track the performance of the US stock market. The fact that it did something that no other index fund had ever done before helped it stand out and is the main reason why it made it onto this list. FZROX is the first index fund in history to have no expense ratio. That's right, the expense ratio is 0%. This means you'll pay $0 in interest on a $100,000 investment. Fidelity may have done this to entice new investors to open accounts with them. Since its inception in 2018, it has returned an average of 18.01% per year. This means that $100,000 invested in 2018 would be worth slightly more than $17,600 today. FZROX currently holds about 2,662 stocks, with top holdings in Apple, Microsoft, Amazon, and all other big dogs. So at this point, many of you are probably wondering, what could be wrong with this fund? It's completely free, it's well diversified, and it has a good return. Well, one critical aspect of this fund and all Fidelity Zero Brand Index funds is that they can't be transferred to other brokers. So if you wanted to transfer your FZROX shares from Fidelity to, say, Vanguard, you would have to sell all of your FZROX shares and completely close out your position before making the switch. It compares you to declare a taxable event known as a capital gain if you profited from your investment. A capital gain is a tax on the profit from your investment. And unless you invest in a tax advantage account such as the Roth IRA or 401k, the IRS will want their money. Number four is the Fidelity Zero Large Cap Index Fund. This fund invests in companies that are part of the Fidelity US Large Cap Index, which seeks to replicate the total return of large cap companies in the United States. A large cap company has a market capitalization of more than $10 billion. Large cap companies are typically well established and have a track record of producing high-quality goods and services. For example, among the 516 stocks held by this fund, you're likely to recognize all of the top holdings and use many of their products and services on a daily basis. This also explains why this index fund has such a strong performance. Since its inception in 2018, it has returned an average of 18.56% per year, which means that $100,000 invested in 2018 would be worth more than $17,500 today. It is important to note though that this index fund is not very diverse, but more on that in a moment. This index fund is a member of the Fidelity family of zero-cost funds. Of course, that means you'll pay zero in interest on a $100,000 investment. 
One thing to keep in mind about investing in this index fund is that it only invests in large cap stocks. Unless investing is your full-time job and you're Warren Buffett, most of us need diverse portfolios with exposure to multiple sectors, multiple market caps, and multiple assets to effectively build wealth. Before we move on to number three, please subscribe to our channel and like the video. The third ranked fund is the Fidelity NASDAQ Composite Index Fund, which invests in stocks from the NASDAQ Composite Index, an index that represents the total return of a broad range of NASDAQ-listed U.S. stocks the NASDAQ 100 has consistently outperformed the S&P 500 over the last 15 years. This is due to the fund's holdings of 3,264 stocks. Apple, Microsoft, Amazon, and Google are among its top holdings, accounting for nearly half of the index. There's now then an argument that this fund lacks diversification as a result of this. This is true, but if diversification is more important to you, you can combine this bond with some of the other total market funds in this list. In terms of performance, this index fund has a 10-year return of 20.76% on average. If you put in $100,000 invested in this fund 10 years ago, it would have gained $66,000. Of course, this comes with a higher cost-to-benefit ratio. With a 0.29% yield, you can expect to pay $29 per year on a $100,000 investment. The Fidelity Total Market Index Fund is ranked number two. This fund invests in stocks that are part of the Dow Jones U.S. Index. The Total Stock Market Index is an index that attempts to track the total return of a diverse set of U.S. stocks. With one significant exception, this index fund is essentially the same as FZ Rocks, which was ranked number five on this list. In contrast to that though, which can't be accepted into another broker, this fund can be. This fund currently holds 3,875 stocks, with top holdings in Apple, Microsoft, Amazon, and others. Over the last 10 years, this fund has provided an annual return of 16.25% on average. This means that $100,000 invested 10 years ago is now worth slightly more than $45,000. This index fund has a very low expense ratio of 0.015%. On $100,000 invested, you only have to pay $1.50 per year. Finally, number one on our list is the Fidelity 500 Index Fund. This index fund includes the S&P 500 Index, which tracks the 500 largest companies in the United States. It currently holds 508 stocks, with top holdings in Apple, Microsoft, Amazon, and 500 of the other largest companies in the U.S. This fund has given an average annual return of about 16.54% over the last 10 years, which means that $100,000 invested 10 years ago would have gained $46,000 today. Now, unlike some of the other Fidelity Index funds on this list, this one is not free, but it might as well be. This index fund's expense ratio is 0.015%, which means you'll only have to pay $1.50 per year on $100,000 invested. And that just about wraps the six best Fidelity Index Funds to invest in in 2022. I hope you learned a lot from this video about buying Fidelity Index Funds. Which one do you intend to purchase? Let us know in the comment section down below, give this video a like and our channel a subscription, and we'll see you in the next video.